Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. Welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 6. So we did a lot of exploration last time. I figure this is a good a time as any to complete that exploration. And what better way? We, we still got to check out the pool area, the workout stations. We haven't looked at all behind the, uh, the gilded doors of the health spa, which is where pretty much most of the game takes place, I think. I've always loved this pool area, this little kitty shaped pool, and it's got like this little bar thing happening. Amazingly enough, La Costellata has covered the bar with a non slip surface that even withstands belly flop waves. And oh, I forgot about this. There's actually stuff you can take on the bar. Someone has left an expensive sunglass case lying on the bar. From here, you are unable to ascertain its contents. Hmm. Well, it looked close enough to the shore that I could probably grab it. Can I? Sneaking over to the edge of the pool and leaning way out, you inquire about that pair of sunglasses lying on the bar. Anybody lose these? Well, guess they're mine now. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. All right, what do we have in here? You have a deluxe sunglasses case that doesn't appear to be empty. It's hard to tell right now since it's still closed. All right, cheeky cheeky. You open the sunglasses case. Well, I sure did. Okay, well, okay, fine. We'll do it again. Inside your recently acquired sunglasses case rests a nice pair of designer sunglasses and a cute little white polishing cloth. Hey, nice pair of shades. Perfect for lounging around poolside. All right, now, it also mentioned that the polishing cloth was in there. The sunglasses, I don't think, matter. The polishing cloth does. These must be deluxe sunglasses. They come complete with their very own cute little white polishing cloth. And actually, getting the polishing cloth out removes both the sunglasses and the sunglass case from your inventory, so you know how worthless they actually are, which is kind of a shame. The resale value on a good pair of sunglasses are kind of high. Well... I'm also kind of curious about this lump of crap hanging out here in the back. A deflated swimming pool float in the shape of a Canadian Highland beaver lies unnoticed and unwanted. Oh, poor little lonely deflated beaver. I'll give you a home. You grab yourself a swimming pool float in the shape of a beaver. And like all men, of course, you can always use a little beaver. Kind of an outdated term, but you can probably put two and two together. Uh, say, what's in here? There we are. Here's the workout station aerobics thing. Why not? It looks pretty good just to join right in, but let's... <sighs> There's another beautiful woman I'll never have. Larry, you are being the creepiest person in America right now. All right, well, there is an open podium, so when in Rome, aerobics like the Romans. Maybe I'll join in. I haven't worked out in the last three games. You're doing, you're doing great, Larry. Keep You, yes, you, keep up. I'm not having a problem keeping up. I'm moving faster than the rest of you. You guys keep up to me. Hey, white suit! You're falling behind! Isn't letting you keep up! Don't shame me! I'm having a great time, I'm getting my workout, your mission is accomplished. Hey, you! Yes, you! The one with no breasts! You've got no rhythm at all! Oh no, I ruined the class. That's it! Forget it. Class dismissed. Everybody out. Sorry. All right. Now that those girls are out of here, <laughs> I've got the aerobics, babe, all to myself. You... Mm, Larry, you have no chance in hell. All right, Larry, fine. Have it your way. Let's pretend this is all part of your master plan. Hello, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, little man. My name is Cavarici Fuarne. And based upon your proven athletic abilities, your name should be on my class roster. Gee, thanks. I guess. 
Alright, so here's Cav, some sort of uh, rubbish constructor of unknown origin, maybe Italian, maybe Russian, wearing a US military. Okay, but doesn't matter, she's from all places. What's with this dangly doodad here? A large earring dangles from Cav's right ear. You're not gonna make any kind of creepy quip about her delicious. You're not gonna make any kind of creepy quips about her delicious, well shaped, perfect ears? What if I take a look at her other ear, Larry? We're gonna get creepy now. Here you are, face to face with Cavaricci Barnet, La Costellata's stunningly built aerobics instructor. One look at her is the equivalent of a two hour workout. Cavaricci Barnet's face is angular and handsome, with the determined, firm jawed look so typical of aerobics instructors and neo Nazis. Okay, not the connection I was about to make, but thank you, Mr. Narrator. Cap, do you think it's possible for a hunk like me to develop an even better body? No. Yeah, it is a work of art, isn't it? Art wasn't the man I was thinking of. Ah, uh, because art is the guy who runs the tra- uh, it's, it's clever in its own way. Bye. Which do you admire more, my body or my mind? <laughs> Larry, you're one of the few men with equal development in both places. I like how you're making all these distinctions about my personality and body with knowing me for about, hmm, 20 seconds. But then again, I guess her objectifying me is just as fair as me as I've been objectifying her for the past, oh, 90 minutes, or 90 seconds. How did you end up with such a great job, Cav? It doesn't pay that well, but at least I'm doing what I like. Watching young women sweat in skimpy tight clothing. I can relate to that. Alright, so it sounds like me and Cav are on the same side, as it were. Alright, so no more conversation options with Cav, but I do notice this ID down here, which is sticking out like a sore thumb. I do believe we need this later so we can get into the employee-only area. Cavaricci's badge proclaims her an official employee of La Costellata, entitled to all the rights and privileges thereof. Which are not that many. Including the right to hit on the guests. I should be so lucky. Okay, I think if we just try to take it, eventually we win out because we're charming? Uh -huh. I couldn't help but notice your employee ID badge, Cav. What a lovely likeness of you. Oh, that? I don't really like that photo. I was, how you say, having a bad moose day? I suppose you're right. It doesn't hold a candle to the real thing. I guess I just like the way it dangles way out there in space. <laughs> Twisting slowly, slowly in the wind. You're rather funny, for a man. Uh, Alright, so she she likes this banter. G keep, just keep doing it. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> Larry, you are a weird one. But I like weird. Alright, keep it going. Oh no. Oops. <laughs> Look, your badge got caught on my finger. Okay, now I have to amputate my finger. <laughs> or you can give me your badge. Either way, you pick. <laughs> I don't care. I have to admit, in spite of your Y chromosome, I find you rather funny. Well then, take the badge. I get in anywhere I want to, and without no stinking badges. <laughs> Alright, so she just gives me her employee badge. In fact, I have an idea. Let's meet later today for a sauna together, hmm? Bring your best girl and meet me in the Swedish sauna. We'll uh, double date, hmm? Excellent! Wow. Who will I get to play the role of my best girl? And what will Cat bring as her date? Larry, I don't think you're quite getting the implications here, but we'll 
just let this one play out as is. Now, there is an Easter egg here, which I can't show you much of, but it exists if you just... Yeah. Hey, watch it! Oh, all right, Larry. You can have a quick peek. Oh, wow! Of course, you know now that you've seen them, you're going to have to die. Yow! Oh, right into the ductwork. As the last breath of life slowly ebbs from your body, you think to yourself, so what? Those are tits to die for. And I keep forgetting that the try again button exists, so I'm saving so much without really any need for it. All right, so we have, all right, so we got the badge, we're fine. I assume that means we're in the position that she's willing to double date with us if we find a date for the sauna. Can I play with the record player? Peering through Cav's record collection, you find one album that particularly excites you. The soundtrack from Leisure Suit Larry Six, Shape Up or Slip Out, written and produced by Dan Kaler. Wow, nice plug. Can I actually, like, use this as the in-game jukebox? Keep your hands off my stereo system, you idiot! Hmm, I seem to have fallen out of Cav's good graces really quickly. I always thought, too, since you've got this really weird kind of almost like a disorienting top-down appearance, like here's the fluorescent lights and this. I thought that having these sprinklers up here was a major plot point, like that's, like you had to turn on the sprinkler system, that that evacuated the class and got Cav by herself so we could talk to her, but nope, just an artistic choice. So we've actually come through to the aerobic center and the gym and everything kind of backwards. We are supposed to go in through the door where Gary is, then you go through a bunch of other stuff, the shower room and the mud baths and whatever, here, and then eventually out to the pool. But there's a back way. Always a back way. This is the weight room, where you can find everything you need to beef up. Put some ripples on your bread basket. Lose that beer gut. And see a little cheesecake. Hmm, suddenly I feel hungry. Some egghead is actually trying to read while she gets her cellulite redistributed. And no, that was not a free plug for some electronic boutique that sells software, etc. Oh, it took me a second. Wait, all right. Because egghead, I think, is or probably was like a software store. I kind of sort of remember it. Yeah, now I remember. Egghead Software. Yeah, I remember that. And it had like this little Einstein egg mascot. Wow, look at this. Upgrading to MS-DOS 6. Whoa. 50 bucks for MS-DOS 6, the upgrade. What else, what else are they selling this day? Let's see, was it 1988 probably somewhere? Let's see, diskettes. Microsoft Office for Windows 3.0, upgrade edition, $369.74. This is a discount store. The Norton Desktop 2.2, $99. Uh, a book on how to upgrade to MS-DOS 6 is $10. What the heck? But I think I actually did have this cue card. Anyway, 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 back to business. Shake that thang, baby. In fact, shake all those thangs. There we go. I had to turn the music down a little bit. The music in here was drowning everything out. Babe alert. A sleek, sweaty super chick works out on the stair machine, wearing a shiny polyester workout suit. What more could you ask for? Truly, here's your perfect woman. Big breasts and man-made fabrics. Say, baby, instead of these steps, what do you say you and me go stepping out together? I'd rather lay your puny body across these steps and do a tap dance on your skull. Uh-huh. Was that a no? Love it. All right, well, let's see. We're avoiding the obvious one here. One of these things is not like the other. Hi, cutie. How you doing? What? You, climb on, lay down, and shut up, boy. I like her attitude. My name is Christina Priscilla Diana Van Dyke. Oh, do I have to remember all that? But the only people who called me that are dead now. Oh. You may 
and in fact will call me Thunderbird. 80s. Oh, 90s, I guess. Thunderbird? Are you kidding me? Uh, well, I'm glad you took time out of your busy workout schedule to, uh, lean seductively on this chair. Hi. Hey, get that away from my face. That was literally my eye. I was trying to look at you, and I was like, get your eyeballs off of my cheeks. Her eyes are blue. No, maybe they're brown. Wait, they could be hazel. Oh, it's hard to tell what color her eyes are. Who could see anything but those glorious breasts? Whoa. <laughs> All right, it's, I, I'm just getting more and more uncomfortable. Uh, how, uh, how, let's take a look at her earring. Oh, wait, no, no, our, our judge of a woman is her arms, of course. Look at those strong, slender arms. You can practically taste them. Oh. And if you get your way, you will. What? Taste her arms? What the hell was going on in the 90s? Hey, get that away from- Hello, miss. I couldn't help but notice the muscles in your inner thighs. What? I mean, I couldn't help notice the uh, magic in your intense eyes. Uh, it's times like this, I just want this game to be over with. And I could just crawl in a hole and pretend it never happened. But let we gotta- soldier through it. We've made it this far. Nice outfit. When are you going to stop having your mommy pick out your clothes? Oh, she doesn't pick out my clothes anymore. I think a 90s guy has to know when to bypass the fickle whims of Paris haughty couture and stick with the stylish lines of a true classic. Hence, the white leisure suit has become, how may I say it, Something of a symbol of mine. Hmm. I see. I gotta admit, it's you. I thank you. You don't know how many people comment on it. Oh, I can imagine. Um, I'm picking up some sort of weird life fildian issues here with her with her body here. No, let's 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 pay attention really quickly. To where her navel is, it's way down here, and then bup, 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 something happens in here that we're not supposed to see, bup, 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 and then there's the rest of her. Her torso, like if she were to stand up straight, this elongated torso of hers, she would be about eight and a half feet tall. And like, what is going on? She's like, she's like a snake woman. Like here's the curve kind of comes up this way, and it looks like it's supposed to keep going up here, and then it goes like up, and then over, and then down, and then around. She's got like some sort of weird gallbladder issue here, I think. Or maybe she just had some sort of major surgery. Uh, I, and either way, just, just keep that arm where it is, and we'll, we'll all be, we'll, we'll be fine. What brings you to La Costa Lada, little boy? Oh, I'm here on a junket, actually. <laughs> you see, I was one of the winners of a recent broadcast of Stallions, that hot new TV show for hot new studs like, um, what? So I suppose you'll be here for the two-week visit, instead of the weekend the first place guys receive. Gosh, Thunderbird, you sure do know your TV shows. I should. How do you think I got here? I, I kind of like the implication there that the, the winners actually are awarded having to spend less time at La Costa Lada than the, than the losers do. The losers have to stay longer. So babe, um, what do you say you and me get to know each other a little better? Honey, there's not much about you I need to know. Oh, zing. And there's not much about me you'd care to learn. But I suppose a little session later on would be okay. I just have one problem, Larry. Uh, problem? Uh, what problem, T-Bird? That's Thunderbird to you, Larry. Now, all I can think of is Zelda 2. That's what kind of a nerd I am. I'm having so much fun here that I wore out my only pair of handcuffs. So, if you want to have fun with me, You'll have to bring me a little hardware. Handcuffs? Where am I supposed to get handcuffs at a health spa? You've seen them. 
That's your problem, Lapper. All I know is, I'm gonna sit here and work this machine until you do. So come back anytime. But bring a little hardware with you. Hardware. I like how she says that every single time the same way. Thunderbird's curly auburn hair cascades down the back of her head and across her shoulders. Just for a moment you wonder what it would be like if you were small enough to run naked through that forest of hair. Actually, you're nearly the correct size now. Half of these lines, like after they're said, I'm just sitting here just with my jaw gape. I'm just like, how do I respond to that? Running naked through a field of human hair. You know what? Never mind. Goodbye, cat. Uh, cat, what is your name? Thunderbird. We got to get you some hardware. All right, let's get out of here. This place is making me uncomfortable. Bye. La Costellata's Euro mud baths are built right into the floor, Roman style. The mud looks warm and inviting. Never actually tried a mud bath. I'm kind of. What's going on up in here? Are you having some sort of seizure, sir or madam? Are you? And how did you get up there? A young couple sits in the champagne glass spa, enjoying each other more than the bubbles. That's obviously one person just kind of sticking their arms and legs up in the air, like some sort of synchronized swimming type of thing. I just, what, how did, how did you get, they, did they bring you a ladder? All right, well, let's take a look around because I believe all these doors are important in their own way. We'll come to you in a minute, Mrs. Uh, Frothy Red Hair. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words, Electroshock Exercise Center. That sounds extremely unpleasant and I can't wait to visit it. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words, Swedish Sauna. Swedish Sauna, okay good, so we know where that is, so when uh, I find someone to go on a date with Cav, that's where we'll go. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Costellata logo and the words, Men's Shower. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Costellata logo and the words, Women's Shower. All right, so now Behind we- Behind this door. Okay, yeah, we, we know that, we know that, we know that, okay. And why is this, is this a security camera pointing directly down at the top of a plant? Why is this here? A video camera is mounted on the wall beside that air vent. It enables La Costellata's crack security force to keep an eye on activities here in the mudroom. It's literally, if that's the lens here, it's pointing straight down at the top of this ficus. This mud bath looks just right. And just for fun, let's take a mud bath. Wow, free mud baths? I think I'll jump right in. Go ahead, Larry, nothing bad will happen. The question is, will polyester protect you from this extremely hot mud? Evidently, La Costellata keeps the temperature of their mud baths slightly higher than the melting point of polyester. That is just... That's just such a horrifying way to go. That your polyester suit melts into your body and you slowly burn, roast alive in mud. The latest in that molten look. Alright, let's get this over with. Hello, person who I will... Never mind. Hello, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> Allow me to slip out of this warm, caressing mud for a moment, Larry. I'm Charlotte Donay, but you may call me Shaw. You're probably better off just staying in the mud. Why would you come? Oh, that's why. Excuse the way I'm dressed. Oh, I think you look just perfect. <laughs> yep, never seen better. You saw this kind of hair everywhere in the in the 80s and 90s. I never quite understood it, like this whole... Never mind. Let's check out her arms. What you wouldn't give to be that mud, clinging to her flesh and acting dirty. I miss. Right arm. Was this a, a placeholder speech, or is that supposed to be like a pun on right on? Right arm. I'm gonna turn on the text for a second to see if it actually says right arm. Right arm, so it does. It is indeed. Well, very well done. Well spotted, sir. You are one of the most beautiful women I've ever met, Char. Oh, darling, you're so sweet to say that. But really, I'm just a simple, electricity-loving woman. 
Just give me a few heavy-duty details, and I'm set for the evening. Okay, well, so she's more of the introverted, uh, quiet, alone time type, Larry. I think you should respect that. Of course we're not. You don't mean that literally, do you? I mean, you're not one of those, you know, one of them. Those. What are you talking about? Those? Oh, heavens no. Let's just say I love my stimulation wherever I find it. Um. But I am totally partial. I prefer the real thing above the artificial every time. What the hell are we talking about? Larry, put two in together. Well, you're just so, you're, he's so wonderfully naive that he can't help but sort of be like the everyman. Just in case you don't get the joke, you don't feel bad about not getting the joke. Well, it's, it's not even a joke. It's just references. Really bad references. But I really want to kind of go revisit what they meant by those types. Are you insinuating that's like, oh god, you're not one of those those gays, are you? Oh. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like, Char? Um, perhaps I could buy you a drink? Drink? Oh no, the attendant here keeps us all in fruit juice. But you know, there is one thing. Anything, babe. Anything your breast am, um, I mean, your heart desires. There's one thing I need that I haven't been able to find at La Costa Lada. Well, all right, well, let me click on you again and we will resume our conversation. Oh, tell me, anything you want, I promise, if I can get it, it'll be yours. Oh, that's great. And the way I see it, when I get what I want, then you get what you want. What exactly is it you want, my yeah, sweet Chardonnay? Yeah, let's Chardonnay? get to the point, shall we, Char? Simple. I could really use six D sales for my um, late night friend. Huh? She has a battery-powered David Letterman? Huh, well, that sounds easy enough, Char. Why, sure, Larry. After all, how hard can it be? Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. I'm Larry. off, Char, but uh, I'll be right back with your batteries. Okay, so pretty much all, I think, the missions, quote-unquote, that we need are set in action. Alright, so we have Char, who's the, our electricity-loving woman. She needs D-cell batteries. We have Cav, who needs us to find a date. Um, let me see. Uh, I can't remember. I gotta go way back. Oh, yeah, we need to find a dress for Chablis. Well, apparently I was wrong. I guess Chablis is not a white and red blend, so that kind of throws my metaphor out the window. And, oh, who else? Oh, we'll think of it later. And your obligatory example of manas in a genuine Leisure Suit Larry 16. Now, this scene, if you played Leisure Suit Larry 7, is on the screen of the librarian, but we'll come to that, I guess. Well, next game. Not too much we can do in here until we have a reason to use it. And, of course, our locker room. Now, I think one of these lockers is assigned to us, so we can just change and... Well, I guess as long as we're here, we might as well take a nice little mud bath or go visit the sauna or something. But more importantly, hey, look over here. What? Where? You can't see anything over there. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, I like that one. But I think uh, there is a way that you can look through here. Uh, what? No. There was like a loose tile or something. Uh, yeah, there it is. This slightly lighter tile than the rest. I think you can actually peer through. Strange. One of these tiles is off color. Uh, this tile looks loose. I think you get points for it, maybe? Oh my god! Who's that? Is someone here? No. You are looking, and hard. Looking hard, that is. Wow, 
now you really need a shower. Indeed. Dirty, dirty boy. But you don't get points for that. I thought you did, but I guess that's just an Easter egg. Fun, fun, fun for everyone. I was also always kind of curious why there were so many towels strewn about. Like, usually the girls' restroom, you would imagine to be a lot neater than the guys. But I guess since there is a distinct lack of dudes here, you know, this is pretty much the only one that actually gets used. Uh, which one's our locker? I think it's this one? This locker is taken. No, this one? There it is. Got it. Anything in here? This particular locker is not in use. Why, no, but... Alright, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get changed, and let's go ahead and take advantage of, uh... La Casalato's luxury, shall we? I think... If you're patient enough, these little dancing fountain things... <laughs> Well, never mind. Usually that takes a long time to happen, but it just did. Twice! Wow, I used to have to try to get that to happen for a long time. Okay, so now, we can use the mud bath! Whee! With our gold chain on, nonetheless. Yeah, we're doing great! I get points for that. This mud bath looks just right. And you can't do anything while you're in here, you can only look so, you only do this for, like, that extra little point, I think. So, that was fun. Oh, and because you Oops. get to make fart bubbles in the mud. Ha ha ha! There we go. So now that we are caked in mud, there's not much else we can actually do. But at least now we can take a shower. None of this has any meaning at all, What, by the way. I don't even think that you get points for it. It's just sort of there for flavor, which I kind of appreciate. Now that we're sort of in the generation of, you know... Xbox Live achievements and uh, PlayStation trophies and everything. The point system is kind of the, the precursor of that, I think. You got a little sense of pride for finding something that wins you this, those couple extra points. Does it actually say what the maximum points are? No, not sure. Uh, ah, well, it doesn't matter. It can't be, uh, can't be in the four digits. It's probably like 500 or something like that, I'd imagine. All right, so let's get dressed or rather undressed in reverse. And I think... We've explored more or less the entire place. A nice hot shower always makes me feel like a new man. You hear me, Gary? Me too, sweetheart! I love Gary. And here I am! <laughs> Gary's awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's go back up to our room. And... I guess let's, let's put our heads together, or our collective heads together. And it's like, hi, Art! And try to remember... Let's, let's make a plan of action. That's what we need. Er, excuse me. I can actually, I can literally walk faster than you. Oh wait, I know what we can do as long as we're here since I went the wrong direction. We got that employee badge. So let's go all the way over there. Yo, Art! And... You again. Oh, okay. Come on, hop yeah. on board. Yeah, let's go, let's go. And we'll go to the employees only section. Yeah, we can go there. And I also like this gigantic mag light that he has. I'm sure that is a source of D-cell batteries. Hey, hey. Yeah, let's go tram in. Tram in. We have reached the end of the line. Please watch your step getting off the tram. Tram. And thank you for riding Art's tram line. Thank you. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. Oh, I never noticed because it wasn't high res, but he's got little handlebars with little cute little tassels on him. That's adorable. Can I talk to him now that he's uh not busy? Sorry, this is the end of the line for me. But if you'd like to go to the other end of the hotel, wait for me to turn this baby around. All right. Thanks. Alley-oop. Oh, it pauses here for a reason. What? What's he? What's he doing? Art seems to have lost something. Art, you all right there, buddy? Uh, lose something? Well, kind of. I was just thinking about heading over to the employee's campground for a cigar break, but I'm out of matches. Hey, I got a match. Here, here you go, buddy. Take a break. Nothing to strike it on, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Hey, Art, you want a match? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> That'd be good. You know what they say, a woman is only a woman, but a good cigar is a smoke. Who said that, anyway? Some idiot. I don't know. Good. 
All right, so now Art is leaving his tram unattended. Um, I'm not sure why, though. I wonder what this baby looks like under the hood. It's a toilet. Probably, oh. All right, it keeps letting that power source, so maybe I have to sabotage this for some reason, so I can get, uh, I, I assume I want his flashlight. Uh, eh. Disconnect the power cable from the battery to the motor? Why, that would mean the poor tram wouldn't run, and Art would have to walk. Oh, he'll be fine. Disconnect the power. Yes. You can't take the motor, nor anything else here. Not to say there's nothing to do here. Okay, uh, do I have any tools of any kind I can use? I got this power cable. Can I short circuit it? That won't help much. What you need is a wrench. Oh. All right, so I can't do anything here until I get a wrench. But thankfully, I have all the matches I'll ever need to get in here again. All that electrical stuff under the hood confused you. Maybe you're a low voltage kind of guy. All right, well, let's see if we can... That happens if you go back there while Art is actually there. Let's just see if we get in trouble. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You don't work here. Ah, drat. Oops. Watch out, Larry. You don't want to anger Art. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I cut you off there, Larry. Actually, I think if I bring on the text... Yeah, how would I get around then? Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you, captions. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go back to the room. We'll get another match later on, and I think I know what we need to do. Oh, well, that was a fast break. Alright, well... Alright, I'll just... Uh, you go that way, I'll go this way. Breathlessly, you insert Cavaricci Varney's employee ID card into the slot on the electronic lock and hope there's no careful photo checking required. The gate slides open with a clang. Very nice. Um, alright, so there's always a party going on. The employees only section is kind of... kind of lame, but... Hey, looks like a party, so they're having a beer drinking contest and some sort of Lombada thing happening over here. Employees have paired off and are dirty dancing in the employees' canteen. Oh, right, that was a thing. She looks like she's in a serious chugging contest. Better not interrupt her. He looks like he's in a serious chugging contest. Better not interrupt him. Mmm, beer, though. There appears to be a wash tub filled with some sort of brown bottles buried in icy water. What could it be? Oh, what does this song remind me of? This is, uh... Oh, is this the way life's supposed to be? It's like a heat wave! Okay, I think I, I think they're taking some liberties here with the soundtrack, but hey, beer's mine. Thank you. Wow, I got myself a free six-pack? Oh, yeah, let's go to the room and chow this down. Why am I walking so slowly? Okay. Oh, and my bed's been made. How nice! And it's like, oh! They left something on my pillow. Isn't that thoughtful? The maid turned down your bed, and instead of leaving you a chocolate, left you a condom. Hey, it's almost like they know what I'm not going to need around here. You grab the condom from your pillow. It's unwrapped. That's not... I don't think that's good. Spartan brand. Size? Extra small. Thanks. But you didn't refresh my flowers? That's awful. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do here. So, uh, we need a wrench of all things. I think if we remember back to a couple of parts ago, we tried using our water and it was all icky and brown. We can call, not room service, what's the opposite of room service? Uh, maintenance, I guess. And they'll come up and I think I can filch a wrench off of him, which you use for a lot of things. We can use it for uh, disconnecting the tram and... Oh, wait, we still have to fix that cellulite drainage salon thing. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that now. Wait, I think I already checked the water, so, well, it's too late now. In we go. All right, here we go. Uh, building maintenance, that's what we want. But I kind of want to call all these. I get points for that. Welcome to La Costa Lada's new automated in-room ordering system for room service. May I help you? Wait, don't answer that. See, there's no one here but us computers. Ha, ha. Pretty funny, ha. Huh? It's a little digital humor. You may press your selection at any time or zero to return to the menu. Press one for breakfast. Press two for lunch. Press three for dinner. Press four for morning snacks. Press five for afternoon snacks. 
Press six for late night snacks. Um, I love breakfast food. You selected one breakfast. Press one for full meals. Press two for light meals. Press three for pig out meals. Yeah, let's get like a big stack of pancakes up in here. You selected three pig out breakfasts. Isn't that just like you? Yes. You come to an expensive health spa to try and lose that big gut of yours, and what do you do? As soon as you know you're dealing with a machine that won't laugh at you, you order fattening food. Well, the laughs on you. Press one to repent. Press <laughs> two to backslide. Press three to join Weight Watchers. I will never repent, but I will backslide. That sounds like fun. How about if we send up some chocolate to go with that? Press the pound key to confirm, or the star key to cancel. Thank you for ordering. Checking your account for adequate cash reserves to complete transaction. Please hold. Sorry, you have no credit standing whatsoever with La Costa Lotta. Order any food you want, you won't get it. Oh, Well, that was a waste of time, of yours and mine. But I got some points. That's the important part. Bell desk, may I help you? That's Al. Um, yeah. Um, I, I wonder when you're going to bring up my luggage? Just a moment, Mr. Laffer. Let me check the store room. There's nothing here for you. Who shipped your luggage anyway? Well, um, I guess no one. <laughs> uh, thanks anyway. Asshole. <laughs> what did you say? Concierge disc. Carlos speaking. Hey, it's Carlos Escobar. Hey. He's actually got his oh, own little image. Oh, you have the face of a saint. Yeah, a Saint Bernard. <laughs> You're more than a couple of bricks shy a full load. Have a nice day. All right, so it's pretty much just the Carlos Escobar insult uh, fun line. So he'll just sit there and insult you until you hit exit, and then he's like, okay, well, have a nice day. That's kind of kind of cool, I will, I will admit. I actually kind of want to set up a line like that myself. Hello, you've reached La Costa Lata's excursion desk. For tomorrow, we have planned a wonderful trip for your vacationing pleasure. Our American Empress tour will begin early in the morning with a trip through an authentic local fast food restaurant's drive-up window. Next, we will travel to an indigenous nearby area to study native shopping rituals, followed by a trip to an actual functioning supermarket. You'll enjoy lunch at a local diner, followed by a short hop into an authentic laundromat, where you'll see locals engage in traditional activities before your very eyes. The afternoon will conclude with a visit to a real automobile repair center, where hapless locals sit trapped, waiting and watching television while their children run wild all around them. We'll return in plenty of time for you to shower and clean up before anyone sees you. Don't miss this exciting look at a life you've never seen. Only $350 per person, meals included. Only limited seating is available, so please reserve now. I'm assuming that was insinuating that you're so rich that you've never seen this strata of life before. An actual fast food restaurant, a grocery store you go to yourself, <gasps> getting your own car repaired. <gasps> you hear what sounds like a small elevator going past your room. It's probably better you had interrupted me there, Mr. Narrator. Housekeeping, may I help you? Yes, my bathroom is totally unstocked. Uh, don't you give lots of little free thingies here? You know, shower caps, tiny bottles of shampoo, shoehorns, stuff like that? Why no, we don't. Well, how about toilet paper, towels, washcloths, you know, I should get those, right? Yes, you should. I'll send the maid up to service you right away. Oh my. All right. That would be fine. Tell her to just barge right in, regardless of the condition I'm in. Oh, our help never enters a guest room while someone is there. Strict the policy. Simple courtesy, you know. Also, it prevents lawsuits from schmucks who want to accost our maids. Whoa, okay. Oh. Good. Oh, okay. 
Well, I suppose I'll head down to the pool now. Good. The sooner you leave, the sooner you'll get serviced. All right. Well, I think that will bring the maid card up, which is an important part because there's a lot of stuff. Hey, you out there. Stop checking me out. No, wait, no. Continue checking me out. My apologies. All right. And then last but not least, the phone call we actually need to make. Yes, hello. This is building maintenance, landscaping, and grounds. May I please to be helping you? Hello? There's brown water coming out of my bathroom sink. Is there anything you can do about it? Ah, yes, but of course, Mr. Laffer. I am so sorry. Let me send up one of our best men. Right away, pronto. Soon, quick, quick. Oh, and please to be accepting our sincere apology for any inconvenience and perhaps if you are suffering. Ah, perhaps I can make some adjustment to your bill. Please, just a moment while I check the computer. Oh, I see. Never mind. Uh, Mr. Laffer, I'll be sure to send up somebody sometime. Maybe in a few hours. Maybe never. And please, don't bother calling back. Well, his tune changed very quickly when he realized I was a freebie. Well, we got quite a bit accomplished today. We found, I believe, all but maybe one... No, definitely two at least people that we need to uh, have the intercourse with the uh, discussions that kind of inter I'm making finger quotes you can't see me well we'll save all that for next time so now we have the maintenance guy coming up so we can get all the tools and hardware we need to really finally at long last after what three four parts get this game really moving so until then speaking of moving Good night, jelly beans. Uh, good night. Ow.